You know, one thing about it, the weatherman hit this forecast pretty good. The wind's howling. Uh, it's intermittently rain. I keep wanting to take my jacket off and, and just fish in my jersey. And here it comes rain again. Mark's kind of settled in. He's not taking the guide wear off anymore. And it, it's just one of those dark, drizzly days. But the cool thing about it is we're catching a few little buck bass. Jeez, I wasn't paying attention. There had to be one in here somewhere. We need to go find those bigger ones. No doubt. <laughs> We're blind Boy, casting that, to the babies. That ain't your first rodeo, little, little fella. You know, up in the deer stand, the one thing about it is that, that I can remember from years of fishing it, there's always going to be some fish moving up shallow uh, at that time of the year. We're kind of in that early spring, water temperatures are just creeping into the 60. I keep thinking we're gonna hook a few big ones. Uh, we've caught quite a few fish now on a, uh, on, a, on a trick stick and some other soft plastics and the wind's blowing down a bank we've already fished and I keep thinking to myself, I need to go down that bank because I've had, I've had great experience on that bank in the past and Mark picks up uh, you know, a, a, a swim jig basically and he starts throwing it out there and, and getting some bites. Got him? Oh. Good one? Not that good. He just, he just mad. They're all mad. <laughs> like it. I'm on a moving bait. We just hadn't seen a lot of that today. There's your, there's your pre-spawn. There she is. <laughs> Fat girl, right there. I mean, that just face. makes all the sense in the world. Pre-spawn, healthy. Out here getting that last snack before she go drop those eggs. Thank you, sweetheart. I noticed when we came through here earlier, I was looking at the mapping and I could see like just that all the different colors were the, we had a little edge coming up here. That's why I wanted to come back through here. You yep. caught that fish right where all those colors come together on the depth shading. That's awesome, right now there on that on break. Top of it. Yeah. Started to put a little piece of the puzzle together, let the wind kind of be our friend technique and uh, started picking up some moving baits, some vibrating jigs, and we caught a few nice fish. Wade lost a really nice one. Um, but you know, that's part of it, but you know, just that one indication, noticing the wind, noticing the water temp, which stage the fish should be in, just that one little piece of the puzzle led us into catching several bass. So paying attention can be really key. Yes. <laughs> he ate that thing deep. And I was hung and popped and riding that sucker popped out of there. He said, dinner time! <laughs> <laughs> that looks like filet mignon, guys. Let me in. I'm have me a piece of that. You know, one thing about it, when you spend time in, the, in a boat with people that are energetic and excited about going fishing, that passion, that fire, it, it's, 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 it's addictive. And you know, Mark and I are, are fortunate now that we've got several companies we kind of work with together and, and I'm, I'm excited about spending more time in the boat with Mark. I'm excited to watch his career arc. I think it's just gonna continue to go up. I mean, you look at this guy, qualified through the federations to fish the FLW Tour. Uh, while he was on the FLW Tour having, to, having some great success, he was, he was also competing on the Bassmaster Southern Opens was fortunate enough there to catch some, some pretty good limits and make it to the Bassmaster Elite. This is a guy that's catching a lot of fish. His tournament results are showing true progression. I think we'll see some great things ahead for Mark Daniels, Jr.